Salutations, friends. It is I, said Stevie. And it's finally time. Uh, what time? It's time for lunch. Uh, no, but it will be soon. Um, after this, I'm going to make myself a roast beef and Swiss sandwich. Uh, no, it is time to, uh, change all this up. So, I got this Para 3 in, uh, Maximit at Blade Show West, uh, 2022, a couple weeks ago. Uh, Factory Seconds, uh, 80 bucks. I don't remember what the defect on it was. It was very minimal, uh, and also I didn't care about it. Um, that little, you see, that's where the sticker was. I just haven't gotten the schmutz off of it yet. Um, I think that there's a very slight warp. It's a tip or something. Uh, I was with eggs when I, uh, eggs and ham, uh, by the way. Shout out eggs and ham, um, actually. Shout out eggs and ham. One of the dopest stickers out there also. And uh, was my, uh, kind of my Blade Show West uh, palling around buddy. But um, we looked at it and uh, most of them, most of the defects were very, very minimal. But uh, I knew, uh, if I didn't mention, um, it was only 80 bucks. I think these go for like two something normally. So it was a pretty good deal. Uh, my first go around uh, with Maximant. Um, but I knew instantly uh, I was going to uh, pimp my Para 3. So what I went ahead and did is, um, you know, I had to get rid of that. So I ordered a uh, Lynch Northwest clip. I ordered some uh, rips, uh, uh, scale, rips garage scales, rich rips garage tech scales. That says it right on the package. Haha, -ha, rips garage techs. Uh, and then I got a titanium uh, backspacer uh, from this uh, company off of Etsy. So um, we are going to. Board the struggle bus, perhaps. I've never taken apart a uh, pair of three before. Um, I've been told by some people I need a special tool to get this lanyard uh, post uh, tube out of there because it's press fit in, which I can see that it is. Um, I talked to a couple people and they said, ah, you may, you may not. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. Other than that, I think it's a pretty basic uh, construction. So... I do know that I need a couple of different uh, bits for this. I'm going to need a T6, I believe a T10, and a um, T8. So let me find um, all my tools here uh, real quick like. Real, real quick like, okay. So, uh, Shoka Cola can in full effect. Let's get the Shoka Cola can going so I can keep track of everything. All right, uh, let's start by yarding out the uh, pocket clip. I assume that that's going to be my T6s, and I'm going to put the blade away. I don't think I need it deployed. So. I had a Para 3 lightweight uh, years ago, and I was, uh, I had it for probably, I don't know, very, very little, very little time. And I had a buddy uh, that ended up having a really crappy uh, knife on him, and I said, you got to get rid of that thing. Here, you can have this. And I gave him my uh, Para 3, and I never got one uh, after. Um, is this, okay, that is a T10 on there. And, uh, you know, as time went on, I just kind of lost interest in it. Um, wasn't anything that I think, uh, thought that I would, uh, want to get again. Um, all right, it's already falling apart on me. All right, uh, there's the, that's right, these are on washers. Um, all right, there's the lanyard tube there. I think I'm probably going to have to take apart all the screws, right? 
is that okay the stop pin uh comes out the pivot is oh okay the pivot is a screw also all right um but yeah i didn't think that i was going to end up um all right that is on there good uh got my little pair of uh, nipix pliers these are the lynch northwest ones um so i can uh, get that uh, undone there. But yeah, I didn't think that I would ever uh, get a pair of three. Um, the only uh, two Spydercos I own currently are my uh, Manix 2, uh, which I've done a video on before. Uh, it's one of my older, oldest knives and the first knife that I ever spent more than a um, hundred bucks on. And then I have my smock, and I love my smock. Okay, those are both on there uh, pretty good. So I guess you, technically, I guess you need backups to... Um, take that apart. Is there anything else that I need to take off? Nope, I guess I just need to... Uh, Try to pop this uh, tube apart. All right, before we get too far into the struggle bus, let me uh, wet my whistle. Uh, drinking out of my some dude uh, coffee mug that's got me, pocket metal, grumpy, uh, satisfaction. Coffee, black, just like my soul. But, um, okay, let me try to focus on this here. All right, well, that's loose. That's a good sign. All right, it's coming off uh, with the liner there. All right. Oh, that just pieces right on. That's not okay. Um, and now, um, oh, it seems to be working itself loose. Maybe I can uh, ever so gently just work that loose hmm <sighs> okay well that's on there but I guess I technically don't need to take that off of there right I can just leave that hanging out yeah I'll do that uh, these scales have now fulfilled their destiny. Um, anyway, ended up uh, uh, getting my couple of uh, other spider codes that I never thought that I would want to get. A pair of three. Uh, well, here we are. Um, and I got one. So, uh, all right, nothing else uh, in the package here. Just uh, the RGT scales. I believe I got, uh, is it labeled on here? Um, is it? I got the uh, black burlap micarta and uh, these look lovely. Uh, you can see it says RGT uh, USA lasered onto the uh, inside of the uh, show uh, scale there. Um, all right. What else? What else? Oh, uh, the backspacer. I don't know how the backspacer is going to work. Um, I just happened, while I was looking uh, for scales, I found a backspacer. So... Um, this is a company off of Etsy, had a bunch of good reviews, uh, made in the United States, um, out of California, uh, Pacific Suns, and they seemed like a, uh, seemed like a good company, so I went with them. Uh, does this just fit over? It does. It just fits over the tube. Okay. All right. Uh, and then I guess let's get the, uh, clip out, uh, here. There should be actually two clips in here. Oh, yeah, and I ordered some uh, uh, Ranger eye patches as well. 
Um, oh, look at this. Threw in a, uh, uh, a lanyard. And um, it comes with... Oh, oh, there's a Lynch Northwest sticker I don't have yet. Uh, but as with all... Um, get a little thinky note. Uh, thanks, Stevie, for your Washington support. Uh, Casey. Casey takes the time out to uh, write hand notes on all their uh, all their orders. So uh, let's see here. I got I got two clips here. I got a wire clip replacement and I got the pair of three. So uh, that is a wire clip replacement. That's for another project. And this is the pair of three. Um, it comes with some extra screws, so maybe I'm going to need those. Oh, and they come with a little tool, I think, also. So we'll see if I actually end up needing those. All right, now I got everything. Um, where to start? Uh, I think I'm going to start by uh, making sure everything is uh, wiped down. Wipe me down. Wipe me down. B-O-O-S-I. A-D-A-Z-Z, -Z, that's me. All right, I want to wipe off these uh, washers. <sighs> if I could get them out of the tin. All right, um, so, so far, uh, this is not uh, that big of a deal. Absolutely not nearly as bad as uh, the bench made uh, that I did. All right, so uh, to start reassembly, I'm going to need to put these uh, liners in. Right? Yes, yes, I am. And that is the show side, right? That's the side that I have the clip. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, so what I want to do is put the uh, pivot um, back in. Is that the pivot? Is that the right one? I think so. Uh, it is. So I want to take the uh, T10 that I had here and uh, tighten uh, that up. And then I think um, I will use my uh, pliers here, my little nipix, to uh, just tighten that down all the way. Snug as a bug in a rug. All right, we got that. Now I'm going to need to put a uh, little dab of oil underneath the washer just for shits and grins then i need to put the washer on there Ooh, does the washer need to go on before i take off the does it go in between the or is that not the all right hold on okay well i guess i have to put on the yeah i guess i gotta take that off because that doesn't fit i gotta put that in between the screw and the pivot barrel so i just uh, cinched that down and i'm using a t8 and that worked huh okay well I guess I need to remember that for when I go to uh, reassemble the other side. So I need to put... Alright. Two steps forward, two steps back. Alright, now that will pop in there. Okay. Put that back in. Um... Let's see here. I'm not 
not really doing this on camera, am I now? I don't really like this right angle ratchet. I just had it handy, so I figured I'd use it, but... Okay, now I'm able to cinch that down without um, really having to use that uh, whatchamathingy pliers. Got a little frazzled there, folks. No need to rush this. If you don't want to watch the whole thing, uh, I guess you really don't have to. Uh, stop pin, right? Yep, stop pin. Um... Then this is going to go, oh, a couple dabs of oil. I should probably just slick them all, but I'm not going to. Now, ew, just sliced myself on the blade. Okay, now, um, I guess I need to put this uh spacer in there as well I don't know how bad that cut is should probably check that out it's not bad um let me Tighten that down. There goes the blade. All right. That is tight. Tight. All right. Now, I wish that this would have come off on that side. But I guess it doesn't really matter. So that, yep. Okay. Now, does that... <laughs> I guess we'll find out if that's seated all the way when I go to put it together, but it seems a little loose. Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Won't we? So now that means I gotta put a little dab of oil there, a little dab of oil there, a little dab of oil there and there. Now I should be able to put that on uh, like so now this should all start fitting together right yeah that's not nearly uh in there like it should be so Maybe I just need to grab a mallet and tap that in there. Did I just lose my washer? Nope, it's still all there. Um, yeah, let me grab a mallet. Okay, got my uh, mallet, but I'm going to do this on my workbench behind me, not on my uh, table. Let me just tap this in here. Boom, oh, that's all it took. That's all it took. A little tap a tap. No problems at all. Special tools, get the F out of here. I don't know, maybe I just got lucky. But I don't know. We shall see. I don't even have it all the way uh, back together yet to uh, know for certain. But now, now I can put this uh, back on. And boom, that is going back together. So, uh, we have the T10. Uh, 
pen uh, pivot. We will adjust uh, here in a little bit. We have the, um, where did my TE bit go? There it went. Right, I'm done with my all. My all as uh, my uh, buddy Sheen would say. The all. Put that in there like so. And now uh, for the pocket clip. Um, yeah, that doesn't look stonewashed like I ordered, though. It really doesn't, does it? It does not. So I will get in touch with uh, Lynch Northwest about uh, that. Um, see if they can't send me out a different one. I guess I'll have to check my, uh, check my order. Maybe I fucked that up. Now, let's see if these screws work, uh, before I go digging into the, uh, ones that came with the clip. Why am I struggling so hard getting just the clip screws going? Ugh. Sometimes it happens, folks. Sometimes it happens. How am I doing on time? 22 minutes, holy shit. Still not too bad, though, I suppose. All right, let's not sink things down too far yet. All right, I don't think I need to use those screws. These ones seem to be working just fine. Boom. There we go. A uh, little bit of blade play there. Um, need my T10 for that. Bit of blade play still. Lots of blade play. Did I miss something up in there? It's cinched down all the way, and there's still blade play. Centered, but I got some blade play. But I'm digging the looks of this, though. I do want that stonewash clip on there. I like the backspacer. Did I miss? What am I missing? I'm tightened down all the way, and I still... All right, I'm gonna have to take that back apart, figure that out. Yeah. But I mean, it's basically on center. Yeah, it's on center. Action's good. I just got a little bit of blade play there. So something is not seated properly. But it looks like the stop pin are going all the way together. I got no lock stick. 
What did I do wrong? I don't know. I guess I'll give it another uh, once over and uh, see what's up. But in the meantime, I'm going to consider this a success. There's just a tiniest little bit of blade play that I got to figure out. Other than that, um, yeah, I'll get in touch with uh, Lynch Northwest or I'll see if I messed that up. But uh, there you go. Transformation is complete. So um, that's it, folks. Not too shabby. I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. And, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Until the next one, I bid you mofos adeuces. Okay, um, I didn't want to leave it hanging. Uh, I failed to realize that this is actually a D-shaped pivot. So, uh, that's my problem. Um, that's why I got, uh, some blade play. I took it apart and realized that, uh, I didn't have the, uh, D uh positioned uh properly so uh i'm going to uh, loosen this back up and position that uh the correct way since i cinched that down that will allow me to rotate uh that slightly blade back on yeah I realized uh, I can't just uh, leave it hanging and I also realized that um, this is the stone watch clip it just looks lighter to me for some reason um, so I think I got this right now nope didn't put my um, washer back on Nope, that is not positioned properly. So, just need to rotate it slightly. It's one thing I don't like about D shaped pivots is if you don't get it uh, tits the very first time, it don't uh, seat properly. And why is that not? It should be lined up. Why are you not lined up? Looks like it should be it, but it's definitely not. It's not just popping on there now. Well, that's because I done messed up the uh, the lock. Now we go. Now there we go. Okay. Now I got it. Now we're good to go. Now I can pop this back on there. Yeah, that's the way it should be. All right, so lesson to learned i'm sure there's a bunch of you out there going you didn't get it captured right yeah because now all of a sudden all that blade play is gone there was someone out there that was going to scream at me in the comments going you didn't get that part um so lesson learned to you folks uh if you find this video uh there's a thousand other uh you know i'm really late to the uh para three game I'm sure there's a million other videos uh, that you can watch that are probably better. But if you find this one, uh, that is a real struggle. And I'm sure someone probably, if I would have watched a video, said, hey, make sure you do that. And I should have noticed that, but I just didn't think that it was uh, D-shaped. That is money. 
and I'm going to tighten it just a skosh. Tighten down that side. And no blade play there. Oop, that's too tight. That's too tight. That's right where I want it. That's right where I want it. Maybe a hair. That's that's money. So now I will put this pocket clip uh, back in as you watch me struggle with the pocket clip again. So yeah, this is a uh, stoned wash uh, clip. They did send the right one. I'm um, looking at it a little bit closer. It's just lighter than I thought it would be. So, I don't know. That's on me. Um, maybe I need to just order a darker one. Uh, to make it... I was, I was wanting it to match the blade. But it kind of matches the hardware a little bit uh, more in the liners. So, we'll see. We'll see. But there... I know I already uh, deuced y'all, but look, I already like the way that this is picking up the oils. Um, all right. Much, much, much better. Much better. Yep. There we go. Now it's complete. Rip Garage Tech Scales. Pacific Suns Titanium Backspacer. And a uh, Lynch Northwest uh, deep carry clip. I think that's all uh, I need. And now I got a cool uh, PM. Excuse me. Para 3. I'm done now, folks. I appreciate you and uh, tuning in. And until the next one. Now I bid you mofos. A deuces.